Hello guys, Mike here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between um, the capacitors and let's see where that. Okay, so see that one's an L, and there's going to be another one. And that small one there, L. So I know on my other video I said that this was like an L series capacitor or something, but that's that's not a capacitor. You see that? That's an inductor. So it's not the same it, as the capacitors here. So that's why you don't want to mix that into your capacitors because they do not have any palladium in them. Um, let's see, turn it around. <clears throat> so here's a different type here. Um, this one's a capacitor. Uh, let's see. That one's broken off. These are all capacitors. See these? These here are the same L's. Those are inductors. So the one that was there is an inductor as well. So again, whenever you're picking your MLCCs, just Remember, pick the ones with C's. That's it. And leave everything else out of it. And if it doesn't have any any lettering or numbering and they look like this, don't touch them either. <clears throat> so like, he, see these here? They're by themselves, but they're brown. They look like these, but smaller. So I would take those off and put them with the capacitors, but not the gray ones. Uh, let's see if I can find another example here. This one here. More that. It has these here, L4, L1. See that L1 is different. It has like numberings on top and this one's gray, just gray yeah so just to see guys not anything else so here you would just take these off see they're all C's I know in the last video I said that they were like a L, L series capacitor or something like that not what they are they are not capacitors but basically what those are is like one of these this is an inductor here and that's the same thing with those uh, little ones that look like MLCCs but they're not um, it's just basically a, a ferrous core and then it has most likely copper winding around it um, I can try to crack one open so you guys can see see if we can see anything alright here's one alright crack that open let's see what do we want to crack that open with uh, we'll just cut it well this is what a MLCC looks like, I guess, since I took the wrong one off. It doesn't have a core in the middle. Alright, so let's pick the right one off this time. Um, let's see here. Here. Alright. See, it's already sticking. Oh, it's already sticking to my screwdriver. Does the other one stick? Nope. See? I guess that would be another way to separate these if you use a magnet. That way you just get the inductors out. 
see that all right let's try cutting this one in half it's a little science experiment all right can we see in there come on man all right there it goes we'll put it next to that one okay all right I don't know let me lower the camera all right so I don't know if you can see that so I try to zoom in as much as I could on my camera but when I put it on video it just went straight to normal so I zoomed in I got as close as I could all right so let's see if I can find something to point here all right we'll use this plastic here all right so you see this first one here it's just solid there's nothing that's an MLCC there and then if you look closely you'll see a little dot there and that's that that ferrous core that goes through it and then I, I'm guessing the, the gray stuff is what encases that core there which makes it an inductor so that's the difference there guys so I apologize for saying that it was a L series capacitor or some nonsense like that so yeah that's what it looks like there cut open so you can tell the difference and another good thing to try um, if you're going to use a chisel you could probably try to use a magnet and you can separate all this out and if your magnet is really strong it should be able to take them all up see it just picked them right up both pieces The only thing that I don't like about, oh, see, it kind of wants to take that one too. So it did take it. I'm guessing because of the case, that that back piece here is spares. But if you use, I guess, I'm, I'm assuming a weak magnet, see, it doesn't do anything. It's not strong enough. This is a stronger magnet, so it picked it up faster. See, yeah. So I might try using a, a lighter magnet, and you can separate. This this screwdriver here is slightly magnetized, so that's why it picks them up, but it doesn't pick up the MLCC. See that? So that might be another good idea to uh, uh, use in uh, separating these. I wouldn't suggest a strong magnet because it would just take it just takes everything with it. See, th there's already an, a little one there stuck to it. So we could try that one out with the screwdriver, and it doesn't stick. So. Those are MLCCs. Oh, I want to try one of these that doesn't have, uh, let's see, like this one here. See, it doesn't have any lettering or anything. It doesn't say C or L or anything. So I guess we can try this technique out. There it is. It doesn't stick. So that's going to be a capacitor. Uh, let's see, can we find another one to try? Uh, let's see this one here. This one didn't have a letter. Ah, oh, it doesn't stick. Right, that's cool. Let's try another one with the with the, uh. Oh, look, here's some gray ones without any letters. I guess we could try this 
a little theory out. What do you guys think? Let's see how that one's gray. Hmm. It doesn't stick. Let's try a, a whole a whole one. Not th like the one that was cut. What I'm guessing is since it's cut, it has a way to pick it up. Here's one right here. Now, so that's that's an inductor. So let's try this. Oh, oh, I picked it up. You see that? I wonder why it doesn't pick up this one. It's gray too. Wait, yeah, that one's gray. Hmm. That's um pretty interesting. It was it just picks up these gray ones here that have an L on them, signifying them as inductors, and it picks them up. But see, I go near this one, it doesn't pick them up. So I guess that gray one there is a capacitor. All of these here. See, I'm picking them off from here. Right here. There's no markings or anything. And they're gray. So I guess just by looking at them by color it's not going to do anything because there's some that are not marked that won't pick them up see that's the one that I cut off so I'll mix that in there okay let's just mix inductors and uh, capacitors in there just just for fun just see what happens just bunch them up Oh, I picked that one up. So we know that one's an inductor. I picked up that one I cut. Oh, they're stuck. Let's see. It's not picking up the half of the uh, uh, capacitor that I cut. And I'm guessing the rest are capacitors. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. This board here has nothing labeled on it. It's just a chaos for uh, scrapping, right? Because you don't know what's what. So, let's try this one here. No, nope. that has to be an inductor because it picks it up. But it's, uh, I'm guessing, it, oh, there it is. See that? It's a little heavy, so it really it's really hard for it to uh, pick it up. But look at that. All right, let's try some of these smaller ones here. It doesn't pick that one up, so I'm guessing that's a capacitor there. And that gray one there does look like an uh, inductor, so the screwdriver's probably right. Let's try this big, big guy here. That, that one picked it up real quick. So, it's two inductors. Here's a, a little bunch of somethings. Those are off. Let's see. Nothing. So, capacitors. I think we're on to something, guys. 
All right, let's see here. Anything else on this side? Let's take off a regular looking inductor, see if it picks that up. No, it's not going to pick that up. Oh, wait, the other side. Yep, see? It picked it up. Voila. All right, let's see if we could find. Oh, that's not a capacitor. It's stuck right to it. And that one is, yeah, that one's gray. Let's try this little guy here. Nothing. So I guess this is a good trick. See, and you can tell the difference there. See, darker and lighter. And it only picks up the dark one. That's pretty cool. Thank you, screwdriver. Let's try these guys. No, these might be too heavy. Yeah, because it barely picks this one up. And I know this one's an inductor for sure. See, I always thought the inductors were the ones that were th like this, like rectangular. But apparently I was wrong, guys. I was wrong. Okay. I was wrong. I know these are inductors, too. That's why I picked them off. And they're here. So, yeah. Try it out, guys, and let me know if it works for you. You see? No sticking. Capacitor. And if it sticks, it's going to be an inductor. All right. Anyways, guys, I've uh, probably went on too long for on this than I wanted to. All right, guys. So, I, like I said, I had said that those L's were L-series capacitors, but they're not. They're inductors. And... Um, I just want to let you know that and uh, I found a little trick too. Pick some capacitors that you know are capacitors that have a C that have a C on them like these here that I picked off this board. These are all C's that I picked off and then there were some that weren't labeled and try it out and let me know if you get the same result uh, just a little light um, magnetized flat head try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments say if it worked for you you see that and they're stuck to there to the screwdriver and if it does you're welcome. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. So anyways, guys, I, I've, I'm just, I don't know. I kind of want to keep going. Anyways, we'll end it. Well, anyways, guys, <clears throat> thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys on the next video.